Well, it seems like MGK took the biggest L of 2017. Everyone's reacting to his low sales after his super cocky Breakfast Club interview where you thought he was about to drop the hot fire, dial on fire that night. You know, he was denouncing Eminem like, I'm not responding to him. He's not on my level anymore. Da, da, da. Acting like he was better. Really cocky up there. Like he's dropping hot music. And I have to say... He got played, my G. He did 21,000 the first week. Like, crazy low sales. Now, he's calling it, don't forget, Binge is an EP, not an album. Nah, bro. That just shows that you could have so much hype behind something. Most people could have sold a blank CD. But MGK fans weren't even there to support MGK. He usually does about 50,000 the first week. He's usually little more up there but he's never really grown since 2011 2012 uh, he's a good rapper but i think that his head wasn't in the right space he was a little too cocky after rap devil you know his idol dissed him which is almost like a salute to your you know like if your idol's even acknowledging you you know he is a true stan he's admitted that this is George Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit the subscribe button. If you want to hit that uh, like button, I appreciate it. Hit a, leave a comment below. If you want to leave comment, I mean, sorry, if you want to advertise on the channel, JordanTowerMedia at gmail.com. Well, I think that uh, it's safe to say MGK took the biggest L of 2017. People were reacting, saying, you know, the album was trash, dropped the ball, wasn't usual MGK vibe uh, that fans love. No one was impressed with the trash. 22,000 idiots bought the album. MGK profile pic. All these comments here. Someone is taking D writing to another level. MGK doesn't even have one third Eminem's fans. Uh, out of 22K sales, 10, 10 albums sold in Cleveland. Ben GP was horrible as MGK fan. I mean, like, I've never seen such backlash after such a good battle between two people. You know, uh, MGK answered Eminem. Eminem. Eminem didn't have to answer, but still answer with kill shot. And then that was just for MGK to say it wasn't that good. And MGK believed the hype where people were egging him on like, nah, you were better. Nah, bro. You, if anything, it was just two good responses. I don't think anyone was better than the other except for Eminem had better lyrics and better like, you know, ways of placing the words. You know, MGK was just spitting what he felt. Eminem crafted it more witting. You know, it was it was uh, it was awesome. It was just cool how we crafted the bars. You know, MGK didn't have crazy bars. It was just he was just saying things. Uh, just him answering Eminem alone was you know ballsy, and he did it. So I got to give him credit there. But he didn't follow through. It was such hype. He should have sold at least. At least 50,000. You know, he only did 21,000. It just shows that mm, maybe they have the same fans. Maybe some fans were like, nah, I can't get down with this. I don't know. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, add a subscribe button, and I'll check you guys later.